Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, it is another beautiful Monday. Uh, despite the hurricane on Thursday, which wasn't too bad in my area. You know, we're pretty far inland, so the storm had a little bit of, you know, travel time, so it weakened up. Got some wind, a lot of sticks and leaves and all that good stuff in the yard again to clean up. But uh, overall, not too bad. Didn't even lose power. The only issue we actually have uh, is we lost internet service on Thursday and we still don't have it. So if this video takes me a day or two to get up, I apologize about that, but I can only do what I can do. Uh, but yeah, it's another beautiful Monday, uh, garbage day. So let's go out and let's find some junk. Looks like I got some stuff to start off with this morning. Looks like a bed frame and a barbecue grill. Uh, okay. Huh. I can't say I've ever seen one like that before. Looks like a job for old Rusty. Like a little pound in the morning, right? Alright, now as for the rest of this thing. I could figure out a bed frame. Okay. Sort of, right? Really? You don't fold up? Huh. Huh. Okay. You're coming with me. Can't say that I actually ever seen one like that before. These knock out too, somehow. That's all right. Get them over here in the corner. Something like that. around. 
around them. Oh, reach. There we go. fits uh. hmm. well, not perfect but it's on there Take the lawnmower bag. What you got in here? Pizza box, you no? Know? Maybe we can put some goodies in there later. All right, down the road. Ooh, I spot me a nice little scrap nugget. Little aluminum step ladder. You are going to go up here. Oh, I love me some aluminum. A roadside goodie. Morning. Give out on you? No, actually, it did. Uh, yeah, I hear you there. Have a good morning. Some kind of little cart. What is that? Hmm, don't know. I scrap a lot of things that I really don't know. <laughs> Help something. Something. I don't know what it is. I see a cord anyway. What is that? An old DVD player? I can take a DVD player. There we go. A few cords. Couple of things here. Another step ladder. A couple little wooden tables. Flat, please. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I actually did make a pit stop and rearrange my grill and my uh, dishwasher. sitting there. I'm going to fill that up with things and then I'm going to find a bunch of little things 
and not have no place to put them. Oh, what is that? A cot, probably? Uh, put it there for now. And a water cooler. I can take a water cooler. It's one of those cordless water coolers at that. somehow Shove that there for now. Oh, I'll lose my cutters. Well, let's just do that. I'll keep that there. Plastic pot. Actually, I definitely want this. Somebody got rid of the whole patio set, but only one chair. that mirror resting against there too I'm not taking the mirror and I'm not gonna have to worry about it I do not want to break the mirror and I think I will try to take that table That's just steel. Yes. Usually tell as soon as you pick them up by the weight. Hmm. That table's gonna be awkward. it all just falls into place and some mornings it don't I'll put a bungee on that I think um, tell you what let me repurpose this one Let me 
double check that. The center slats are aluminum, but the rest of it's just steel. And I am not going to take this home to take it apart just for those aluminum slats. Watch the mailbox. Let's see. I'm gonna leave the mirror and the mop. Other goodies put off to the side for the scrap man. Oh yeah. A mangled umbrella. Oh that's is it? Oh that almost had me fooled. It's wood grain, but it is metal. Seen better days. Huh. Yeah. Oh, come on now. of that at home myself I mean, look at that they even took it apart for me canopy there in the garbage can Let's trim this off and I shove you down there too Down the road, Got me a folding chair. Folding chair, mop bucket. Hmm. 
Somebody got a new toilet? Morning. See my favorite kind of goodies on the side of the road. Small and heavy. Love me some rotors. You know, my, my scrapyard doesn't pay any more for rotors, but doesn't mean that they're not heavy. <laughs> Uh, anything else? Oh, box for the new one. Uh, that'll work. Looks like another monster umbrella. Yeah. That's a lot of umbrella, folks. Uh, hmm. Oh, my water cooler fell over. That's what I heard go crash. should keep it from falling over and away we go can't tell wood metal plastic what are they metal metal Ooh. anything else don't see a whole lot of these anymore man you know the old uh, metal accordion doors There we go. No, you weren't going to stay. Of course not. Oh, sometimes I just fight with my hands to work. Those hangers, a little bit, old wood frame windows. front here somewhere all right you know I had a gentleman walk me off this uh, minnow bucket and actually a magnet stick for picking up screws and stuff and he actually fished him out of his garbage can as he was walking out and you know i always tell people you know you take your scrap metal and you set it next to your garbage cans and it will get picked up you know there are a lot of scrappers that hit these neighborhoods that i go through you know in the evening in the morning so it will get picked up so try to educate people as i go because it helps me out it helps them out because a lot of things people put out the garbage man won't take you know see a lot of uh big pieces of roofing material and stuff like that and you know the garbage truck's not going to sit there and fight with that stuff but a scrapper will <laughs> all right down the road More roadside goodies uh, let's 
see here. It looks like an old lawn mower and an old fan. Really don't want the base. There we go. Take that. Put that in the box. Well, that one's got a metal front cage, so I'll take the whole thing. Cord clip. Lawnmower with extra parts. I don't mind when they come with extra parts. that I'm going to drop. for now. stool but the plastic dishwasher is a no uh, got a place to tangle you up that works yeah plastic dishwashers the uh, they do a deduction for so not worth it to me to pick them up unless it's the only thing I find I believe I see some vintage scrap metal <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. Huh. Hmm, that's pretty cool actually. Um Yeah, that ain't no aluminum frame bicycle, let me tell you that. <laughs> well, that looks like a winner. Nice old dog cage. Stay and 
and away we go. A couple things in two different houses. Got some chairs. good for cutting up for some aluminum yeah, shove those in there maybe maybe not bungee cords? No, not yet. stuff to other stuff. enemy the umbrella stroller Made me feel better anyway. <laughs> Down the road. That's it for the pickup. Oh, got a leak at the scrapyard. Ooh, love the crash. If I can remember where all my bungee cords are. Right there, don't it? Forgot where I put it. All right, how you doing today?
you what? At a Home Depot very often. Once in a while. They got uh, a hand sawzall uh, for free if you buy two batteries and a charger for $199. Oh, that ain't bad. I, I picked that up because the hand sawzall is like, like $160. Bucks. Yeah, I've been thinking about just keeping a manual one when, for once in a while when I need it on the truck. Yeah, we took two cars at home and we saw, we had extruded aluminum on the impact and took all the screws out. Yeah. So that worked. Yeah, I, I got a regular sawzall at home for cutting stuff up, but... three or four of them. Yeah, <laughs> they come in handy. Yeah. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Oh, let's see. trying to trip me. Alright, let me 
gonna go drop my rotors off. weighed out and paid out what's the ticket say now uh, this tickets actually got two tickets on it one is actually from last week because uh, when I went to cash out they were having problems with the ATM so I just hang on to the ticket you know the tickets at the scrapyard are actually good for 30 days at my particular scrapyard so I can hang on to them and like cash them in once a week or every day or whenever but today's total uh, 660 pounds the price is still holding you know I keep waiting to see that price fall so today it paid me $41.25 uh, so not too bad you know got a little bit of aluminum a uh, nice little aluminum step ladder even an old uh, galvanized minnow bucket which I'll have to see if it's uh if it's leaking or what have you I might hang on to it you know I like those old uh, steel buckets like that and actually that little ladder if it's good I think I'm gonna keep that but the fella also when he gave me that bait, yeah, bait bucket Let's see if I can do this without busting the window. But he gave me this magnet stick, you know, for picking up screws and what have you. Looks like it's seen better days, but uh, I'm going to hang on to it. I definitely got some loose screws in the backyard, <laughs> including myself. But overall, pretty good day. Got some aluminum, got some cords, uh, made a few dollars on tin shred, put some gas back in the truck, a couple of cold pops for me and my girlfriend, and I had fun. And it's still a beautiful day. So I hope everybody else has a beautiful day. And that's going to do it for me, folks. So until next time.